Welcome back. This is the fifth lesson on creating the gear housing. In this lesson, I'm going to create the support ribs. Let's insert a sketch on this face. Drop a rectangle about here. Activate project geometry, and let's project this edge. Let's apply a coincident relation between the midpoint of this line and the origin point, and between this midpoint and this point. Now let's apply some dimensions. The distance between these two lines will be 10 millimeters. OK, and as you can see, our sketch is fully constrained, so we're ready to finish. Let's activate the extrude command. Select the profile, reverse the direction. Notice Inventor automatically switched from the join to cut method. Under extents, let's select two next. And let's click OK. Let's right click on this face and select new sketch. We'll create another rectangle. Now let's apply a coincident relation between this midpoint and the origin point, and this midpoint and this midpoint. One more coincident relation between this point and the circle. Let's press Escape to exit the tool. Now I need to convert my projected lines to construction geometry, or I'll have a hard time selecting the region when I want to extrude. Let's finish the sketch. Activate the extrude command. Our profile is pre-selected. Let's change directions. Inventor automatically switched to the cut method. Our distance will be 10 millimeters. And let's accept. And this concludes our fifth lesson on this part. Again, a reminder to save your work and we'll see you back in a moment.